you've been here for over a decade now. Um, kind of talk me through some of the things that you've learned about Penn State and being here. Well, first of all, I'd say 10 years. Uh, it's, it's, some, it's something I take a lot of pride in, but it's also a little bit like sad that in college athletics, that's really uh, unusual in, in today's you know, college football. Um, but in terms of learning about Penn State, I think at the end of the day, it comes down to people. You know, I think there's a lot, obviously a lot of discussion right now about the stadium and other things that are going on. And those facilities are important, but at the end of the day, it really just comes down to people. And this is a place that I think people come, they fall in love with it. Um, it is a family. And I think that's what's different probably about college and the NFL. And you yeah. can speak on that better than anybody. Yeah. Uh, there is a true sense of community at Penn State. Um, and when you're able to sell out a stadium of 107,000 when some places across the country are struggling to fill up a 45,000 seat stadium, uh, I think it's one of the things that, that separates us. And then the last thing I'd say is just, there's so many examples of success, right? Uh, whether it's what Kale's doing in wrestling, which is totally mind blowing, but there's just 31 sports that are operating at such a high level um, at a very, very unique place. Yeah, that uh, it seems like this place has a magnet. You know what I mean? Just coming back, even no matter how long you stay away, it just seems to seems to keep pulling you back in here. What are some maybe tougher lessons that you've learned about being in a place like this, especially when you came in with all the turmoil? I know you and Adam t touched on that, but just seeing it through not completion, but up until this point, what are some of the tougher lessons that you may have learned? Well, I think the first thing is to think about, like, people said the program would not even resemble anything that it used to look like really until now. And I think a lot of people have forgot that, and it's something that I take a lot of pride in. Um, Billy deserves a ton of credit. You know, you know yep. Billy very well. I know Billy. A lot of people don't realize we work together at the University of Maryland. Yep. Um, I talked to Billy a ton, and Billy, Billy des deserves a ton of credit because how challenging it was when everything happened, right? Yep. But the next wave that me and Billy talked about is at that time, there was still a ton of really good players on the roster, and now you're in the challenge of, how do you continue to keep the roster, um, you know, with the, with the right amount of talent on it when the conversations were very different? They were yeah. very different conversations that I was having with every single recruit in the country uh, and was challenging. So that first wave, I think, was, was really challenging. And Billy and, and all the players did a phenomenal job. All the lettermen did a phenomenal job of keeping this thing together. But that next wave was also really important. I'm really proud of the staff and, and the players that allowed us to, to build it. Guys like yourself that trusted in a change. I think the other thing I think is hard for young people, and we talked about this yeah. a lot, is I think a lot of times young people, when you have success, you feel like there's only one way to do it. And the older you get, the more experience you get, you realize there's a lot of different ways to be successful. But I think the most important thing to me, and I think for Penn Staters, is although the packaging may be a little bit different with James Franklin and Billy O'Brien, really the same lessons and the same values that have always been here, um, they, they still apply. It's just different ways of doing it. And I've, I've been, and like you said, like kids maturing through the whole process, it's been so cool now, like for me going through it, being able to reflect, like, Everyone played such a incremental, like uh, such a valuable role in that process up until that point. Yourself included, Coach Coach O'Brien included, and it's just so cool to kind of see where, like I said, where it is now, and whatever role I played in that. It, that's that's what I take the most pride in in this process, and I, I appreciate that. That's that's really cool. So, uh, 